back here. Um, I thank everyone for coming here today. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, welcome the new coaches uh, in our league, Mike Woodson at Indiana, uh, Ben Johnson at Minnesota, and Micah Shrewsbury at Penn State. It's an unbelievable league uh, with really unbelievable coaches, uh, great people, in a great conference with many, many challenges, and I just wanted to wish them luck and, and welcome them to this great conference. Truly excited, you know, to be here. Um, year six for our basketball program. Uh, we have some of our student athletes that you'll get to meet later on today. It's truly a great time to be a Scarlet Knight. We're winning in all sports. Um, the job Pat Hobbs has done as athletic director has been unbelievable building new buildings, Cochiano and football. Both our soccer teams are ranked, our field hockey team, uh, our baseball coach doing an unbelievable job. Um, our two lacrosse teams went to the NCAA tournament. I work side by side with a Hall of Fame coach, Coach Stringer, uh, women's basketball. Um, it's just an exciting time to be there. I'm honored to start my sixth season. Uh, I do love this team. Um, we spent a ton of time this summer uh, developing team chemistry, uh, getting better. Um, I truly think this is going to be a really, really exciting season. On the banks, we have a great blend of veteran players um, with a great senior class, Caleb McConnell and Gio Baker, Ron Harper Jr., and, and a grad transfer, and Ralph Agee, who I think is going to bring some real fiber to our program too, um, to go along with Paul Mulcahy, and a lot of younger players that are itching to play. So I feel really, really good, excited. Um, we open up league play, I think, with three of the top teams preseason picks in the league. So I thank the schedule maker for taking good care of Coach Peichel. Um, but uh, looking forward to the challenges that this league brings and excited about the season. We'll open it up now to questions. Mm-hmm. Steve, KeyStarch at NJ.com. I don't think you've gone into a uh, preseason with as many expectations coming off the NCAA tournament. Do you embrace it? Is it something that you uh, think is a challenge? You know what? I, I mean, Keith, you know this too. There's always expectations on the bank, so it's a great thing. I think our team embraces it. I think, again, I got a good blend of veteran guys. Um, I have a terrific staff, too, that I brought back. Um, Carl Hobbs, part of a national, two national championships, and Brandon Knight, I um, mean, we've been through this. Um, you know, T.J. Thompson, the, the staff that I've been able to keep and, and have done a great job preparing our guys for the expectations that are ahead of us. Um, but I like the fact that we got some guys that have been through it a little bit. We got some experience now in the NCAA tournament, and we're just doing some great things. If we pack the rack, I like those expectations. Question near the back. How you doing, Coach? Uh, this is Mike with One of the Move with Sports Kells. And with everything that's been going on, um, COVID, and um, there's so many distractions, plus the intensity of just playing in the Big Ten and uh, just keeping up with um, all the talented teams as well as, uh, you know, all the talented uh, programs you have within your own school, um, how do you actually keep their mind kind of geared to basketball and not let the distractions uh, get a hold of them? Well, we, we certainly uh, embrace some of the distractions this year. You know, last year – you know, with COVID and not having the regular distractions of being a normal college student and going to football games, I think that was, you know, really difficult. I do want to congratulate the league for the job that they did navigating us through the pandemic. Um, you know, the leadership from this conference was unbelievable. And to have a season last year, most importantly, was unbelievable. But uh, we're really uh, excited that our guys can get back to some normalcy. Um, I do like it when they go to concerts. I do like it when they go to football games, you know, and they're able to kind of get away from basketball too at, at, at times. But I also remind them always of the challenges. This league had 12 ranked teams out of 14 last year, unheard of in college basketball. I mean, this league night in and night out is the most competitive league in the country. And those challenges hopefully show up every day in our practices and how we prepare them to meet those challenges. Um, but last year was just a whole host of other challenges that we had to kind of, you know, get through. And, and they did a great job 
you know, navigating all those different uh, obstacles. Mike DeCourcy from Sporting News. Steve, it's good to see you. Um, I, I, I wonder, you know, you had such an abundance of terrific perimeter players on last year's team, and then a couple of them decided to transfer does that make does that change how you coach? Does it make your decision making a little easier, and does it also increase the pressure on the guys who are left maybe to be a little bit more consistent? Yeah, you know, I think you know, like with every program, um, you know, guys leave, guys graduate and move on. I think we've tried to build a culture that uh, the next guy up and is ready, you know, ready to help us. I love our backcourt. It's by far been the most cohesive backcourt that I've had. Geo Baker being a fifth-year guy that can make and take big shots and has been through the war. Paul Mulcahy has improved the guy as we've had in the league and has played a ton of minutes. Caleb McConnell has been a guy from day one um, that just brings terrific energy and, and a multi-position you know, kind of guy. I think he has a chance to be an all-defensive team you know, player in our conference. And I love their experience. And then I love some of our young guys that now have a year under their belt and Mawat Mag and and Jaden Jones, and uh, we brought in a freshman, um, Jalen Miller, that I mean, is good a defender as I've had in the program. Um, and then we got Andre Hyatt, too, out of the transfer portal from LSU. And we have a kid named Oscar, you know, Palmquest and Dean Reaver. We've had a lot of players that didn't get as many minutes last year, but they had a year of experience. They know what our system's all about. And I look forward to, you know, the challenges, um, you know, that this team will bring to me this year. But our chemistry is elite right now, and uh, it's a really, really good group. And I've enjoyed coaching this group as much as I've enjoyed coaching any group in my 16 years of being a head coach. We have time for one final question in the back. Uh, yeah, Kevin Brockway, CNHI Sports uh, Indiana. Coach, you alluded to your backcourt, frontcourt-wise, you lose Miles Johnson. I'm just curious about Cliff O'Meary and some of the other guys, uh, your thoughts on how they're stepping into kind of those roles this season. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited about um, the development, you know, of Cliff. Um, he's a special player, first and foremost, special person, um, as good a worker as I've had in the program, and I've had some really good workers. Um, athletically, he's as high a level athlete as there is anywhere, but as a person, too, off the charts, um, he will be as improved a player as there is in the league. I think he you know, learned a lot last year. He was injured. He started the season as a starter, um, fought through, you know, some injuries and then played behind a very experienced, you know, Miles Johnson. So he's ready to take that next step. And we've added Ralph Agee, you know, to our program. And I think Ralph is going to bring tremendous fiber as a fifth year senior. Um, that position will be as good a five spot as we've had since I've been, you know, at Rutgers and Dean Reber too is a six foot ten freshman with terrific athleticism, um, who um, is in year two, so he gets the COVID year back. So excited about him and then Oscar Palmquist and Ron Harper. We're as big as we've ever been as a program from the point guard spot to the center spot. So feel really good about that and uh, looking forward to those guys showing you the improvements, you know that that they've made. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Coach. Good luck this season. Thank you so much.